Hello everybody, welcome back to Little Cars and Scotch. Today I'm very excited to show you the new 2020 Matchbox W case. And from what I've seen, I think this might be one of my favorite cases yet. Also for all you Jeep fans, there's plenty of those in this case. So if you're a big Jeep person, you're going to want this case. So, let's just get started. First car, we got the Mercedes-Benz S123 Wagon. Now, I'm not sure if this is, this is the same one from the Retro Target exclusive set. It looks like it. But it, it's a nice little car. Let's go ahead and actually just, I we're going to open these up. Let's get a better view of these. Here we go. Nice little Mercedes wagon. You got the back painted. You got a lot of detail. So, there were a lot of doubles in this case, and tri even triples. But all I did was I just got one of each to make it a lot easier to just go through. So. Next one, we have the Matchbox a Cycle Trailer, and according to some other people that have been finding these, there's two different kind of bikes. There's this one, and supposedly one that looks more like a Harley. I have yet to see it, but that's just what people are saying. But they've been, Matchbox has really been doing a lot of trailers. You had the Speed Trap one earlier in the year. Okay, let's do this one. So here we are. If we find a car that we can put it up with, then we'll put it on. So there's your trailer. Next up, we have the International Armored Truck with the Mattel Deco. That thing is cool. Federal Credit Union. Let's open it up. So here it is open up. It's in a gray, red base, a metal base too. It's kind of coming apart. But definitely with the Mattel on there. It's a pretty cool car to have. There's some pretty good collectibles in this case. But here, here we're going to move on to the Jeep Willys. Or, yeah, Willys. So this one's all completely open. All there is is a windshield. It's blue. Got off-road tires. The dark, I actually like this dark blue. It's a nice color. Yeah, there's your glass. Or your, ooh, it's got wipers. It's got a nice front end. There's not, there's a not much car there. There's no doors, no roof, no nothing. It's completely open. Now, we have another Jeep. We got the, but it's a 48 Willys Jeepster. It's open too, but this one's got its doors and it's just got the glass. I'm not too big of a fan 
of these older cars, especially the Jeeps. But I do like to have them still for a collection. Maybe one day my kid will like them. So here it is. Nice red color to it. Even has seat belt details. Very detailed in there. Alright. Next we have the Levk or LEVC TX Taxi. Pretty I think this is a British taxi. But it's very blacked out. Even the windows are blacked out and I'll show you. You can't even see in the car at all. But the car itself is detailed well. Even has TX on the plates. Everything is everything's on there. The tail light, headlights. Everything is in great detail. I like cars that have a lot of detail on it. Next up. We have the Ice Cream King. Now this will go definitely be going into my food trucks collection. I do like to collect the food trucks. And I got plenty of ice cream trucks, but not in this kind of deco. Here it is opened. Let's see both sides. Yeah, they're the same. Well, there's a window on this side. So it is a little different. Got your pink interior. Not too much detail. You got your metal base. I know a lot of people who are looking for these. Good thing you get. I think it's either two or three per case. So there's a lot of them. Next up is your 1974 Volkswagen Type 181. Kind of looks like an earlier version was out this year from the Jungle series. I'm not too sure, I don't remember. That kind of reminds me of one. But that deco is pretty cool. Now, is that pot leaves? I don't know. Could be. So here's both sides. I do like the orange tint around the wheels. This one not too detailed. Kind of the only thing going for it, the deco. But like like I said, this these older kind of models, and I'm not a big fan of. I like 80s, 90s, thousands, 2000 models. And up. Anything older than that, I'm not too big a fan of. But this, this is definitely something I do like. The 1968 Dodge D200. This is the second time it's been released since it was this cast was made. First one was kind of tan from 2019. This one's all black, which is kind of going to be what it's like on the super fast version of it. But let's just show you how big this thing really is. So here it is. It's even got the Dodge on the back. And these these wheels are huge. And you can see it's a lot bigger than all these other cars. And it looks cool too. I'm a pretty big fan of this one. I've been picking up all these that I find. 
very clean. And then here for <clears throat> what I think has been shown twice this year is the 1956 Aston Martin DBR1. I think this was in the Top Gun 5 pack, I believe. I'm not sure if it's the same car or not. It looks like the same car. But it's got a real nice dark green color. Five spoke wheels. Which are, these are actually one of my favorite wheels. Because they had them on the, the super fast, or the, the mainline super fast last year for 2019. And in gold, they look great. And even on the, uh, the Alfa Romeo. That came out in the first case of 2019 or 2020. They had a, a, the same kind of five spoke wheels and they were dark gray, which was great. So, these are this one's very detailed. Very clean. You got a right hand drive. So that's, I've actually never really paid too much attention to that. That's interesting. So this one's pretty cool. We got the Matchbox Garbage Scout. So this one's a little more interactive. Kind of like last year with the, I think it was called the, the Potty King or something. The one that had the porta potties on it you can take it off move it around just just like this kind of does the same thing because there it is by itself just a regular old truck and you got the garbage can right here and it just fits right in there you go so that's a pretty cool car Especially if you're into the, this is more of like the, would be the construction. <clears throat> so this would be a great addition to those kind of collections. That's pretty cool. Alright, here we go. Now this is something I probably usually wouldn't collect. It's called the Sea Spy. But only because it's National Parks Deco, I just had to have it. These are highly, the National Park Deco is highly collectible, and it's not that bad, it's just I don't like stuff that's not a car. So with the Hot, Be Hot Wheels, it has their planes, they have motorcycles, I'm just, just not a big fan of them, I'm more a fan of things that go down the track, go down tracks. Because I always, I throw parties here every once in a while, we'll pick 16 cars, do brackets, and then have prizes. And it's real fun. So we gotta keep that stash going of those so that the same car doesn't win every time. So here's the C-Spy. It does roll, it has wheels. Very thin wheels. It doesn't roll that great. But for a boat, it's pretty neat. You got lots of little tiny details inside. You got a three motor. So yeah, that's definitely going in the box of national parks. Alright. Next up. The 1970 Plymouth Cuda. Which is super clean. I like cars that are like the factory fresh. There's no 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 decos on it. It's just a plain color. And I, I just love that. Not too details with anything though, but that's kind of how I like it. It's just real fresh, clean. And then this yellow pops. 
almost, mm, no, I wouldn't say that it's not like a harvest gold, but it's a, it's an old school kind of yellow color. Yeah, it's pretty. I'm definitely keeping all those. We're almost done, but I'm a little thirsty. Next up, we have the 33 Ford Coupe. This one is interesting because it's in the Moon Eyes Dego. Moon Eyes are really fun to collect. They also have really good designs. And then with this one, it has these red wheels that just go perfectly with this car. Wheels like this kind of remember remind me of M2 Coke Chase cars. Definitely a, a nice deco. It's a good deco, but it's not a great car. Right. Hot rods, not my thing. Moon eyes are my thing. <laughs> so there's compromise. And yeah, it's a nice car. Just because of Moon Eyes. I got three more to show, and these are a little different. The first one being the Ford F350 Super Duty in a fire truck kind of deco and equipment on it. Also, this is a 75 year anniversary car, and there is only Two, maybe two per case. So if you're trying to find these, they're not too hard to find. But yeah, they're pretty cool. I don't, I'm liking how this year they're doing a lot of different cards because they had the Mercedes one so far, and then in this case, there's two that are different. This is the first one. So let's go ahead and open it. And See what it's all about. Looks like you got the M75, meaning that it's actually the Mattel 75 anniversary for the Matchbox. Even Hot Wheels has these 75 year cars, and it's kind of like the it's one of those track cars. This thing is actually pretty cool. I think this stuff comes off. This loose. Let's see. It wants to come off. Oh, yep, there it is. So, interesting enough, that does come off. So there's your bare car. Here's the cage. That's pretty cool. So if you don't like that cage, I guess you can just take it off. But I think the cage makes it look way better. That's cool. And then, just like with the last one, here's the one, one of my favorites. And really, well yeah, it's both the car and the card. But you got your Mr. Bean. Mini Cooper in a lime green black hood. And I grew up watching Mr. Bean. My dad watched it with me. All of us were watching it together. So I had to show this to my dad. And he told me he definitely wanted one of these. That he was going to find one. So they're pretty cool. Let's open it up. So here you go. It's very basic. It's nothing too special. It's this is more of a car that stays in the blister because it's better with the card. 
Oh, I forgot to show you the back of the card. Here we go. So there's the back of it. So yeah, all these all these changes they're doing. I like that. I like the different cards. I'm digging it. All right, we got one more. This is a new casting. This is the. 2019 Jeep Renegade in a beautiful green color with your five spoke wheels completely decoed out. You got your taillights, headlights, everything, everything's there. So with the being this thing is casting, this is great. This is the kind of stuff that I like. Got a pretty color, you got a new, it's new, my favorite wheels. It's even got a sunroof. This is, this might be, this is my second favorite. That Dodge D200 has to be my favorite. This, this thing is just, just amazing. So yeah, these are my two favorite. Well, that's your W case for you. While I was out, I also happened to come across the Jesco Kona Seg. That was a good find. I was pretty excited to see find one of these. The gigantic wing on it. And your Dotson Bluebird 510 wagon. You got all of these with the black Deco Momo Deco. That, that's just gorgeous. So then this is the kind of deco I do like. I know I said I like factory fresh, but if if it's not factory fresh, this is the kind of stuff I like. Well-known brands. That is gorgeous. And then lastly, to wrap this all up, we're gonna move all this out of the way and make room for something I found not too long ago, which is pretty cool. I'm gonna have to move this and put that. So this is an M2 Chase that I found at Walmart. As you see, there's only 500 worldwide. What makes it special are the wheels. They're chrome. There's a little chrome in the door handle. That little spot, the trim is all chrome. Let's see. In the back, you got the taillights chrome, parts of the bumper fully chromed out. And then in the front, this is my favorite part. All that green chrome. The whole front of the car is green. Even the the wheels are even green. So this is this is cool. I rarely find these, and when I do, I got gotta have them. So this is all that I've found this week cheers to y'all for whatever y'all found good luck hunting i'll see you next time